What's going on? My name is Druid, and today I bring you some marathon leaks. Yep, that is right. We got some leaks on the new Bungie game, and it's actually like not the old leaks that we have. Like we actually have some modern day leaks. Um, this is posted by Oops Leaks on Twitter uh, or X, and it uh, Oliver Ali, uh, the person that posted this. Um, was told about these things so he has some insight on marathon and how it is going um so therefore all right cool marathon's actually being like worked on and um yeah so let's hop into this um the marathon expose uh it's not a hero shooter it's not getting canceled Barrett was replaced by Ziegler more than a year ago. Hewell can't read and think. Okay, kind of aggressive, but okay. Now a deep dive below. Marathon is probably the best, uh, the best existed IP to get an extraction shooter angle. Okay, let him cook. Let's see what we got here. It's one of the lore richest sci-fi sci-fi games and this lore is treated with enormous love in the in the new game there are runners a cybernetic body a cybernetic bodies that you control by transferring your consciousness to a new one upon death the whole hero shooter freakiness is totally nonsense okay so we're getting a kind of like a reboot second life thing um that's going to be kind of like a uh, Division Spectre, like with um, with Shroud, that's Shroud's game, and with Shroud's game, it's a three v three, but technically actually a six v six because you have a second life, so you can like hold angles or do a bomb, then hold an angle with that, um, which is actually interesting because uh, Rainbow Six Siege, I believe, has an operator that has this like ability, pretty much not like on death, but like you can swap between two bodies. Now, from what I'm reading here, it's not exactly like that, but it's more like you, once you die, you can like re, like you have a second life type deal. So there's that. Um, from what I'm also I'm getting, it's kind of like a reboot type deal, kind of like what BRs have. I'm not saying this is exactly like a BR because I don't think this is what he's going for. I think it's still the extraction shooter. Uh, way we're going to be having it for Marathon, but it definitely sounds like more of a BR, you know? So, like, with a BR, you can either get bought back, reboot card from Fortnite, uh, reboot card, respawn, which I believe respawns of uh, respawn, Apex Legends, there we go. <laughs> so, you have a reboot card type deal. Now, the question is, when is it like your ally has to reboot you or is it more like on pawn death you get re-uploaded to a nearby like cybernetic body and then you gotta go find your body again you're gonna go find your body get your loot and say all right i'm dipping by dead body me and then like you know at, like xville you know like just extract there are content creators play tests basically every month and the invited players are mostly EFT, which is Gates from Tarkov, and Hunt streamers. Interesting. Um not Overwatch, Rainbow Six Siege, and Valorant players. Okay, so we got Hunt and Escape from Tarkov. Interesting. We got Hunt streamers now. Last time last time it was play tests from what we were told from leaks was that it was just escape from Tarkov players, but now it, since it's Hunt streamers too. Interesting. Okay. People think that if X Valorant director joins any game, it instantly becomes a pixel perfect competitive hero shooter. Okay. Though I'm gonna let you know, in no matter what game you play, there is gonna be a dude that is going to be camping uh, that's the word camping though he's going to be holding the most pixel perfect like holding like in escape from tarkov there's a lot of people that actually sweat off like they'll hear a noise they'll hunker down it which is the word camping 
and just hold an angle, which, to not gonna lie, that's what a lot of games do. Now in Hunt, um, you can kind of do the same thing, but with Hunt, I know there's more of a PVE as aspect too. So you actually get to be pushed out of those campy spots, I believe. So, okay. Okay, so we're cooking here. Though, so, yes, would I think a hero shooter would be annoying to have? Or a hero shooter, Pixel Perfect? To be honest, I'm tired of the, those types of games. So I'm glad that, you know, a Valorant director isn't making it like that. Though I think coming from just Riot themselves, I believe that they they have a lot of resources like they have a lot of knowledge on how they can uh, like produce the next best thing because i'm not gonna lie i know i should be reading on more about this but just a little more of a tangent here valorant did pop off because of the again people it, it, cor uh, quarantine happened okay so valorant came out at a perfect time there's the perfect time for new games come out and everything it was a CS, it was a Counter-Strike-like game. You pretty much had all the abilities of Counter-Strike. The idea of Hero, though, is subject. It is more of a your personal part. Like me, I played Valorant, and I don't play play Valorant, but I've played Valorant, and I'm more of a Counter-Strike player. There is a lot of stuff that it's more of a baby introduction to Counter-Strike. Though, the reason why people like Valorant more than Counter-Strike is because of the characters they like. And since uh, Riot is good at making stories for these characters and making them interesting. Okay, so yeah, I understand that you don't want another Valorant, but under Bungie's name, Though, I think what he's taking from the Valorant director, what they're taking from the Valorant director is more of, okay, let's make it more interesting. Like, how did you do this? How do you do that? So I think, I think whoever, I, I didn't think they were going to get another like Pixel Perfect CS knockoff, whatever. So I don't know where this aggression is coming from, but uh, whatever. All right, moving on. Closest thing I've heard that could be tied to heroes is there are four customizable runner presets being uh, SIG, SIG Intel, um, Human Intelligence, Field Engineer, and Spec Ops. I don't know what SIG Intel is. My, I'm not big on the acronyms, so if anyone wants to correct me, they can. But that's interesting. For different plays, uh, so for play for different play styles, like in the finals, and this change uh, predated the game director position switch. Okay, so we actually swapped from Tarkov to kind of like okay, kind of more of like like um, not to, not to sound like it, but like kind of like a BR, kind of like how Apex had the different classes so you had the it, kind of a tank character a support character and a, a recon character and a aggress aggressor so okay so we got four we got four of those things here in in in, in marathon so they went for that directive change i kind of like that i don't want to say that we're going to have a BR, a Battle Royale, though it's kind of sounding like it, but with extracting, extract, with the extractor, looter type, more direct. Okay, interesting. Very interesting. Okay. This is probably solving both balance and monetization for a free to play. Uh, experience, I guess. Uh, this it's really hard to monetize an an extraction shooter. We see much problems in any game of this genre. Tarkov with their two hundred and fifty editions, 
hunt with her dozen of DLCs and battle uh, arena breakout with uh, pay to win microtransactions. So Tarkov, yes. Um, I want to say I want to tell I want to say this on my piece because I I I played Tarkov and I went for the lowest price I can get, which is fifty bucks, which is about the amount of a new game. Okay, and Tarkov is still in beta. It is still in beta. So one that rubs me the wrong way with Tarkov. So that's the reason why I don't like playing Tarkov anymore. Yeah, do they make 50 bucks off me? Yes. But also, Tarkov always makes these random ass deals where you get more with, um, so with the 250 edition. Uh, okay. So you just get additional equipment and resources and, and stash. So it's looking like you just get a lot more equipment. And what a lot of people I'm guessing is just like holding on to, I don't know. I don't see why you should spend so much on Tarkov. Like definitely just, I guess if you want a, a, an upper, an upper hand in the the market or into the game, it's best to spend 250. But like, if you just want to give the game a try, just do 50. I'm not gonna lie. Kind of, kind of, kind of mid, not gonna lie. Now, Hunt, with its multiple DLCs, I feel like, for one, I don't feel like... Hunt did good. I would say Hunt did really good. Um, the only thing I don't like is the DLCs, because it's, like, kind of dumb. Not gonna lie. Though, I like how they are saying that... Uh, I like how they bring that up. And then Arena Breakout, I have not played Arena Breakout, but uh the lovely dr disrespect um he plays it and anything that he plays i don't play and the reason why is because it's just boring so like me i can't play arena breakout that's way too mm, too boring and with tarkov it also is kind of boring i can fall asleep to tarkov i'm not a gun nut i'm not gonna lie so maybe that's the reason why I don't care for Tarkov and Arena Breakout. But the hunt, though. I like the hunt. Though, minus the DLC is kind of annoying. Okay. Uh, cosmetics are the only way a free-to-play game could make money fairly. And how, do, and how do people expect customizable characters in Extraction Shooter where your appearance is defined by loot you wear? So making a pre-made base character... That could characters that could be visually customized is an okay decision. I agree. Um, cosmetics, though, I think be more on the guns than character because, like, you're gonna be covered in a lot of loot. So there's probably won't be that much of a reason to customize your character, like your face or whatever. I think it'd be more on just hey here's a cool skin for a gun. Which I could see that being very boring, but if they, like, apply... If they give, like, cosmetics for, like, other gear, I could see that being really cool, you know? Like, say there's a tier system on, like, loot, I would say giving cosmetics to, like, the rarest loot would not be really cool to do, because then it's, like... You bought this. Now go get it. Don't lose it, Lamal. So, I don't know. Um, it's business, not charity. I've and I've heard. I've also heard that they are targeting only for solo and true experience, which ties with this. Okay, so back onto the extra life thing. Solo and trio. So it looks like if you die, you so. I, it pretty much, if you die, you're going to get rebooted no matter what. And then you're going to have to find your body. And that, if you die in that second life and you can't find your body, you're just screwed out of loot. Okay. Interesting. And then, so for the trios as well. So, okay. Though, I wonder how trios would work. Solo, I can see. Trios, it's like, ah, oh, man, I'm dead. Meet me at such and such place because I'm getting rebooted into a robot. I think it'd be really cool if 
your friends could like boot you, you know, safely. But I don't know. That might be too comp. I'm thinking too much of like Apex and Fortnite, I guess. Because so far it's sounding kind of like Tarkov, Hunt, and like a BR at the same time. We'll see. Okay. Um, you choose your affiliation with different corps like uh, ESC, Traxus, and Mida, which is a rebel group, probably for solo players serving as scavs from Tarkov or re rega renegades from the Division Dark Zone. I never played Division, so I hope I didn't just wreck that name. I'm illiterate, so. <laughs> uh, Myduck, interesting. So that's going to be probably the scavs, like they said, for Tarkov. Um, I can see that. Um, tar having Mida, the group Mida from Destiny is interesting. Very interesting. But that might just because that's just a you know, little Easter egg or whatever. I don't know. Or or is it the other way around? Is Mida from actually a reference from from Marathon? And then they just put it in Destiny because of that? I don't know about I don't, I don't know. I actually I don't know about that. Don't hold me to that. <laughs> okay. There are customizable weapons, barrels, scopes, mags, stocks. Uh, there's a market to buy and sell stuff, seasonal progression similar to Destiny 2 artifact system, and power level that is called bio points. It's now taking more of a hunt direction rather than a Tarkov direction. Okay. So, interesting. If it's going for a hunt direction, I actually like that. Because, like, I think Bungie really knows how to tie in PvP and PvE together. I think, honestly, is this... Okay, don't shoot me, but is Marathon the gambit we are looking for as Destiny players? Hear me out, okay? Because, like, that that's definitely... That's, honestly, that kind of hits the market for Bungie. Because, like, they make good pve they make good pvp gambit was a hit when it first came out and then when gambit prime came out now i'm not saying that they're all bank moats or whatever but i'm um, hear me out they really know how to do gun design and since there's no abilities it's just guns so we're kind of like going halo style I like it. Now, the Destiny 2 Artifact System and Parallel Level stuff, um, so for Destiny 2 Artifact System, I think this is a good way to kind of balance things, because, like, if you look at Destiny, each season we've had, there'll be a meta revolving around the Seasonal Artifact. You can you can use still the stuff outside the Seasonal Artifact, but if you use the Seasonal Artifact stuff, it's going to be the meta-type stuff for that season. So, that being said, that sounds like we're going to have a seasonal base thing happening to Marathon, which, to be honest, um, a lot of companies that do, like, like, uh, Fortnite, Apex, you know, um, I hate to say it, a lot of BRs have this where, you know, new season drops, they rotate loot so they can change the meta. But with Destiny Artifact System, which they have a lot of play tests of, because again, Destiny was like the first introduction of that to shake up the meta. I think this is really, really, really good for balancing it. So, though, I wonder if it's going to be like you spec into it, like how Destiny is, or it's going to be like, all right. This is what you got. This is the list of things that are going to be more buffed or whatever. There you go. Now, the power level thing called bio points. I want to say that's more of like a currency. More than a level thing. But. Eh, eh, we'll see. We'll see what what's that. That's all about. 
Um, it's now taking more of a hunt direction, more than Tarkov. Okay, I just already read that. Um, meaning the focus is not a fo the meaning the focus is not on quadril quadrillion types of items you can loot, but in objectives you can compete within one match. Okay, I like that. There's still enough loot, but it's not that overwhelming like the like in Escape from Tarkov where you can extract with a backpack full of 2010 uh 2010 IKEA catalog. I love that. Okay. Yeah, no. Okay, so yeah, no, this is definitely up like Bungie's alley then. Because like Yeah, no, I, I like this. The, so far this sounds actually interesting. Way more interesting than an Escape from Tarkov perspective. And if it's more like a hunt, but just like sci-fi hunt, like it so far, it's cooking and it's smelling good. Okay. So if so far this this Okay. Okay. I hope all these leaks are true. I'm not gonna lie. Because I hate it when leaks are wrong and it's like completely opposite. They're like it no marathon's a BR now. Okay, honestly kind of need a kind of a good market for that not gonna lie good competitive market okay so uh, i was wrong in my last marathon report by saying that the map layout will change every time okay i'm not gonna lie first of all this is my first time reading into uh oliver ollie oop leaks uh, stuff so i don't know about this there are normal big maps but there were all also, they were also testing a map that is controlled by glitched AI that randomizes some assets and theoretically makes it layout change every time. Okay, so we're getting more like okay, so it's still going like the Tarkov type way. So what I'm what I'm thinking is you're gonna have like preset areas, pre preset big maps that you go to, and then you have like. I would say like more of a the harder expert areas where glitched AI. You go in there, everything's randomized. But I would say that I hope they don't do like the infinite forest wise. So or Destiny 2 stuff. So when uh Curse of Osiris came out, they hyped up the uh the infinite I think it's called the infinite forest. So I think that's right. It's been a while. Okay. Don't blame me. Old game. Um so the infinite forest there was three set paths and it was quote unquote randomized though the path was the same no matter what so though the platforms were slight slight slightly different so i want to say if they really go out with the glitched ai thing saying randomize randomize some assets and theoretically make it makes its layout change every time I really hope they actually like again a lot of everyone's going the AI approach. Honestly, I really want some goofy uh just how the fuck do I get into this area? Why is the building sideways while another building's like, you know, on top of it? To be honest, I would love to see that. I'm not gonna lie. I will love like I legit want to see like glitched in props. Because that that makes it hard. That legit makes it hard. So, but that's just me though. That's my take. Now it's being, uh, now it's no, it's not being canceled. A lot of, a lot of effort, budget, and creativity were put into this game. They are looking for feedback all the time with constant play tests and regular content creator play tests. So they got play testers, and they look and they're actually liking the. So I wonder how many people have I wonder how many hunt and especially from Tarkov streamers they actually took it on and play tests. Though I want to say this, I don't know any popular escape from Tarkov people. I've walked away from that. They were popular during quarantine. I'll say that. Hunt, I haven't seen that many hunt players, also because of the DLCs, and that's making this there's a good amount of players playing the hunt. I believe uh, at this recording peak hunt hours is 25,000 right now. So that's peak players right now. So 
Not bad. Uh, uh, this is the main project at Bungie. Matter and Payback are canceled, which we know about that. Uh, Gummy Bears is in its earliest stages. Oh, okay. And it's too hard for Destiny 2 that it's... Okay, hold on. Gummy Bears is in the earliest stages, in the early stages, and it's too hard for Destiny 2 that is slowly fades away to attract new audience. Okay, so Matter and Payback, which we knew about Payback, and we knew about Matter being canceled. Gummy Bears, which we had a lot of, we had a lot of um questions about what's going on with Gummy Bears. Gummy, Gummy Bears. We had a lot of questions about Gummy Bears if it was canceled. Apparently, it is in its early stages, meaning that um, we actually might have another game being worked on. Um, so, and then also the Destiny 2 thing, yeah, it slowly faded away. So, yeah. Um, the gameplay, uh, the gameplay reveal is around the corner, and if they are not yet, and if they are not ready. If they are not yet ready to show it themselves, I'm pretty sure we'll see a controlled leak to get the overall experience. Okay, so okay, so they're saying that there is gameplay footage, but it depends if it's up to their standards, and if it's not, it'll still be leaked. So I'm guessing we'll have to keep an eye out for that. It's a game with a good self-esteem. It's not cloning or making a direct copy of any games, especially the ones that flopped horribly. <sighs> God, they're that <clears throat> Concord. <laughs> okay. So that is the post. Now apparently Oliver Ollie did respond to some questions or whatever. So we're gonna read into that. So we got one. Uh can you tell uh, can you tell, will there be any dynamic day or night cycle in the game? I love it in Escape from Tarkov, and I miss it in the hunt. Uh, I do not know. I was told that there are match modifiers without any explanation. Could mean day, day night cycle, weather, different match wide effects, etc. Can't tell anything specific here, but it would be nice for uh, variety. Okay, so we're getting some like mod. So we're getting match modifiers. Okay, I like that. I like that. Okay, another one here. I agree with the general statement around the post, but correct me if I'm wrong. But I struggle to believe that this is a real leak. Most of the stuff used, <laughs> you stated, with a few uh, exceptions, is somewhat known ex slash expected info. And then Oliver Ali says, this is just what I heard about Marathon from different people related to the game. After seeing the headlines that it's now a hero, that it's now a hero shooter, I started my own research to see if it's true. That's the whole point of this post. The reasoning behind the, the reasoning behind why it's not a hero shooter. Okay, so Oliver Ali was just debunking the hero shooter statement by other journalists, I'm guessing. Okay. Uh, Bungie will have to knock the socks off the extraction shooter genre and impress the wider gaming community after the decline of D2 and the and two waves of layoffs. I just don't see them pulling it off with any meat to dig into. Uh, I think it is. I think that is what they're trying to do. The genre was, is still open. I mean, except from Tarkov is too hardcore and complex. Hunt is on its own niche and very different. Uh, GZW, don't know, ABI, don't know, and DFHO are just straight Escape from Tarkov clones that don't bring anything new to the formula. The door is wide open. Uh, okay. And then, okay, so we got another one. <clears throat> Last one here. Um, you know what's crazy, but also, also not. If this was an actual ex 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 expose in a negative way, you you would have you would you would have three three k likes right now and five hundred comments. People want this game to flop so bad. <clears throat> this is due to the total misunderstanding that what the game is. IGN's selectable cast of heroes 
has ruined the game's reputation quite bad since everyone stated to think that this is a hero shooter, which obviously it's not the case. Yeah, not gonna lie, IGN really, um, <clears throat> really puts... I'm not gonna lie, if anyone listens to IGN, sit down. Like, honestly, go back to playing whatever game you're playing and stay there. I'm not gonna lie. Because... IGN doesn't have the resources to honestly give a shit because they don't they are so short amount of time to put out they are they are the legit internet grinders and that's the reason why they have the money today because they grinded out information and I'm not gonna lie we had our golden years of gaming and the reason why IGN and many other uh, companies got very popular so yeah, now they're just grinding for pennies, so that's it. Um, okay, so my my thoughts exactly is um, hey, it's an interesting concept. I really want to see what their gameplay is going to be like. If it's what I like, I'm not going to lie. If it's a battle royale extraction shooter that have uh, PVE experiences and it's free to play. So there's no there's not going to be any crazy bullshit going on. Like it's it's legit a is a PVE PVP experience. I think honestly this would be cool. Like I think blowing the hunt out of the water, like literally taking what the hunt has, giving the repetition of reputation that Bungie is known for. Because of their the raids. I'm not gonna lie, the raids are really cool. You know, this I can I can see happening. Because I know um <clears throat> Modern Warfare 3, they have an extraction shooter um type deal, and I don't think it's PvP as well. I think it's literally just you versus bots, and you're just doing zombie Easter eggs with a bunch a bunch of other people uh, along the map. So because that, that that's that's uh that's uh Activision's department. So um I think this is gonna be cool. I think uh I had my I had low doubts of Marathon. Now knowing about this and hopefully this is correct and this is actually all true. Again, this is a person on the internet and he and this is his whole thing, this is his whole gig doing leaks. So he did his research. This is his research. Hopefully this is all true. Honestly, I would like a more like here in like say a few weeks, they start talking about Marathon again. Bungie does. I would love to see what they have in store. What they've been cooking up. Now the morale for me with Bungie is really low still. Mostly because of the layoffs. I think that's the only reason why I'm in a low morale. Though a lot of companies do layoffs. I think it's because of how much I've grown up with <clears throat> how much I've grown up with Bungie. I like they they kind of shape my my whole universe about gaming and everything, what I like almost. I just I hope this is good. I hope I hope this is this is I hope it's in a direction I actually like. Because I don't like Escape from Tarkov. And Hunt. I, I, I agree with what they say about Hunt. So, uh, yeah. That is all. Um, like, sub. Uh, thank you very much for sticking around and listening to my thoughts and also these leaks. I, I really do appreciate it. Um, I will try to be up to date on the marathon stuff because I think this is very interesting and I hope uh, you guys took away thinking this is very interesting too. But my name is Druid and it has been an honor to uh, show you these leaks. Um, I am out of here. Bye-bye. All right, so last recording got fucked. So, hey, hey, me. I feature me. How you doing? Okay. <laughs>